Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at who makes the most money on a film set. If you're looking to get into film or you already work in film and you're looking to move up in the industry, it's probably going to be helpful to know who makes the most money and why. So you can plan for your future and decide what part of film production you want to get into. Roles on a film set or around a film are basically divided into two big groups, above the line and below the line. Above the line are the director, the stars, the producers. Could You could get paid one dollar to do or a million dollars to do. They're sort of arbitrary. And below the line is all what's more blue collar or working class jobs. The caterers, the DP, interestingly, um, sound mixes, post uh, post production supervisors and everybody in between. So it's no surprise that the above the line people typically make more money than the below the line people since they are the reason that most people are going to go and see the film. As far as below the line goes, uh, cinematographers or DPs tend to make the most money there because they have the most responsibility. They have the most time on the film, meaning they're doing the most amount of work. And also, if they're a famous or um, well-known cinematographer, they're probably the most in demand. So the film has to pay a lot to get them. In the above the line, the writer is often the first person to get paid. If the studio is buying a script, they'll pay that money up front. So the writer could get one or two or five million dollars before anyone else is even hired. If the movie is an adaptation of a famous and successful book, the film rights get bought even before that, even before the writer gets hired to turn the book into a movie or to a film script and people like J.K. Rowling or any writer that's gonna bring an audience with them from a successful book franchise to a su successful movie franchise is gonna get a lot of money. J.K. Rowling was probably the person that made the most out of the uh, Harry Potter franchise with maybe the exception of the studio because she was the reason that the film was gonna make money. Next, we'll look at the director. They probably have the highest salary. They are the person that's gonna hire most of the other um, departmental heads, they're the person usually that's going to hire and choose the actors. And when we're talking about a big name director like Steven Spielberg or Martin Scorsese, they are also a big part of the reason that the film is going to be seen. That's why people are going to come into the cinema or buy the DVD or stream it online is because of who the director is. As a result, they typically have the highest weekly wage uh, and they are on the film for the longest of anybody with the exception of the producer who hires them. And so they're gonna be taking home the most amount of money as, form, as a form of salary. Next, we get to the actor. And you may think the actor is probably the highest paid person on the film because there are some famous directors, but there are a lot of famous actors. And if it's the actor's franchise, like Ryan Reynolds in Deadpool or Jennifer Lawrence in The Hunger Games quadrilogy, then that person is gonna not only get a big chunk of cash up front, but they are gonna get a lot of money on the back end. That means they are gonna get a percentage of the profits of the film. If they are a really big actor and they are the only reason the film is getting made, they may even get a percentage of the net gross. That means when you go to the cinema and pay $10, that actor will get a dollar. <laughs> that is really, really rare, but it does happen, especially with people like Arnold Schwarzenegger um, on the Terminator franchise or something that they can't really make another one of those movies without that actor. They give you a percentage of the film the money makes, not just the profits that are made because studios are very good at camouflaging and hiding profits for movies by pushing them over to the distributor or any number of ways. Actors know this only too well, so the big ones insist on net points and you'll see Famous stories like Alec Guinness, who made you know seventy million dollars from playing Obi Wan by getting a percentage of the of the profits. You'll see it in uh, Jack Nicholson, who got a percentage of the Batman, the original um, Tim Burton Batman, and got tens of millions of dollars. And most recently, people like uh, Robert Downey Jr., who got a very big percentage of the Avengers movies. Which brings us to our final answer: Who gets paid the most on a film set? and inevitably that is the producer. Not in the wage that they pay themselves, the producer is the person that raises the money, that creates the budget and then spends the money. And the producer gets to keep 
the difference between the money they raised and the money they spent, and they're in charge of spending it. So a producer might go out and raise a million dollars to make a movie, and then lo and behold, even though they only paid themselves $75,000 for the two or three years' work, lo and behold, they were able to make the movie for $600,000. So, so that $400,000 that wasn't spent goes in their pocket, really, because they committed to delivering a film for the million dollars, they were able to make it for 600,000, and the difference is essentially theirs. So there you have it. Who makes the most money on a film set? Totally depends on the film set, totally depends on the scale of it, the agreements that people uh, put together. Usually it's the producer, but sometimes it's the star or the director. It really comes down to who is gonna be the reason that people go and see this film. Leave your questions in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.